Hi, it's Joe Matthew at WBZ News Radio 1030. In the captain's chair of the mighty Ike, the USS Eisenhower. Come with us as we walk you through the ship and meet some of the men and women who make this ship run as they prepare for deployment. We landed on a plane like this one. They call it a cod flight, which brings supplies to the aircraft carrier. And when the back of the plane opened, what a sight. It was pouring rain. We could feel the jet wash from that fighter jet in front of us there. And the crew on board was quick to get us off the plane and onto the flight deck. We quickly went upstairs to what's called Vulture's Row, one of the loudest places on the ship, which is why you can't hear what I'm saying. But what a view as this F-18 fighter jet makes a landing in the rain. Jet will be taking off and landing all day. All right, we've made our way below deck of the USS Eisenhower. This is the hangar bay. And you can see the Atlantic Ocean behind me here because this is one of four aircraft elevators on the boat. The elevator's up right now. Eventually it'll come down with more fighter jets or helicopters. And this is where they are maintained, where they're serviced, where they fix flat tires, electronics, engines, anything that's needed. Even washing the jets, they do it all right down here. And this thing is huge. Looks like the size of a couple of football fields in both directions. And a lot of people work down here. Some of the best engineers in the world, some of the best aviation technicians on the planet are right here. It's something to see. We learned quickly on the Ike that space is a premium. And here's a great example as you walk to the back of the ship what they call the seaside gym. Something the sailors created themselves to get a workout with a view. We're back in the hangar bay on the Ike. They just call general quarters. Everybody scrambles when that happens. They all have a job as they rehearse how to deal with a real life emergency in deployment. They're getting to it right now. In the mess decks, this is where the real stuff happens. People eat, and they do a pretty nice job here based on what I've experienced so far. How are you, sir? Good, how are you? I'm great. How about a hot chocolate? Okay. There's a Starbucks on board. This is the real deal. The USS Eisenhower has a Starbucks. So where do you go for a bag of Doritos in the middle of the night on the Ike? The Ike Mall, of course. Let's go shopping. Everything from beef jerky to toiletries, think of it as kind of a CVS at sea. Back on Vulture's Row, where an F-18 Hornet comes in for a tail hook landing. This is one of the most difficult things a naval aviator will learn to do. You can see the cable that brought it to a halt. It's brought back to its original position for the next landing. Getting around the USS Eisenhower takes some doing. It's a floating city, as they say, and it comes with a lot of stairs. We walked about five miles on board the ship in just 24 hours. Did I say there are a lot of stairs? The sun came out as I got back on the flight deck with WBZ producer Matt Ledden. It was our second day. As flight ops took a break, the pilots were at rest. No landings or takeoffs. And we made our way around the flight deck to check things out and speak to some crew members. It's a sight to behold on the flight deck of a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier made even more dramatic by Mother Nature. Aboard the USS Eisenhower, a hundred miles off the coast of Virginia, I'm Joe Matthew, WBZ News Radio, 1030.